I'm not saying positive thinking doesn't work. I'm saying it's not just it. Yeah, but you, you need to understand that I'm somebody who's made like over 2000 videos on law of attraction and positive thinking. I'm probably the biggest advocate on the internet on that topic. So of course, you got to have that positive uh, affirmation. You got to have that positive mindset. You got to believe in your goals, your dreams. You got to think and be solution focused. That's a very important thing for you to become at the vibration that attracts the opportunity. But I'm going to say that again, the vibration of positivity merely just attracts the opportunity. It, it doesn't give you the fruits. It may present the fruits in front of you, but it won't give it, it won't hand it over to you. It won't put it in your bank account. It won't allow you to take it home. It will just be presented there. I've been saying it for many years. Vibration attracts the opportunity. Action grabs the opportunity. And it makes it yours. So you really got to consider when it comes to action, right? Not just any action. There's a few things we need to clarify. The first thing, it got to be the right action. How many people you know out there who do, they say, I tried everything, it's not working. No, you tried everything that's wrong, right? I respect you tried everything, but you tried everything that's wrong. If you tried what's right, surely if you really did try everything, you would actually get the results. The second principle is all about out of comfort action. We always say you're either in the comfort zone or you're in the magic zone. You make a choice which one you're going to stay in. If you are living a very comfortable life, you're not going to get a breakthrough. I'm sorry to break it to you that way, but you are not going to get a breakthrough if you're in your comfort zone. So don't you be all dreamy thinking if I positively think about my big dream and goal, it's going to manifest. No, it's not. If you are comfortable, you're comfortable right now. It's not going to happen. Yeah, that makes sense. But the final principle is to do with Commitment, discipline, and consistency. Why? Because energy loves momentum. You must fully commit. When you go in, it should be, I'm going all in. If you're going all in, that's the intensity of your energy. That's your focused energy. We always say where focus goes, energy flows and results show. So you focus there. But then you focus there, how long you focus there for? And how consistent are you? You focus there just on Mondays? Or you focus there every moment of every day. That intensity of the energy is what manifests. The discipline, it requires discipline to keep that consistency, right? There's a saying that says, persistency allows you to get it. Consistency allows you to keep it. So if you incorporate the positive thinking alongside the proactive activity, the action, that is when you manifest your greatest desires, and it becomes grounded in your physical reality, right? I always say you can have your head up in the clouds. That's your positive thinking. It's good. Fake it till you make it. Believe in yourself. But you can't just be all floaty, you know? You got to also have your two feet on the ground, grounded. If you can have your head up in the clouds and your two feet grounded, you'll be surprised at what a human being can manifest in its physical reality.